As a best practice, you should regularly monitor your flows. Doing so will allow you to tackle more complex use cases while knowing that previous flows you built will not fall under the radar for any reason. Let's go over some tips that can help you monitor your flows more easily. Use a team email alias. What happens if you go on vacation or are out of office? Errors may get missed. By creating a team email alias, you can send errors and other notifications to this alias so that others can monitor any issues while you're away. Set up and use service accounts. As you're leveraging flows to automate your processes, realize that information will be updated using the specific account that you authorize. Make sure you use accounts that you can easily access and check in case any issues arise. Check application status. What happens if one of your connections or connectors isn't working properly when it worked fine in the past? As a good first step in troubleshooting, you should always check the status of the external cloud application. Many applications provide a server status page so you can quickly gather information about an outage or other service issue. If you don't know the location of this page, a quick web search for the application name and status page should quickly find it for you. How are errors are presented in flows when you're troubleshooting? In many cases, a service will send back detailed information as to why an error happened. This information will sometimes include a value that can help you triage why the error happened in the first place. Helpful information can be found by following keys such as message and the text following its colon. It may also be buried in a key named error instead. There are also three types of common error remediation methods within the workflows console. Retry is a systemic option that our system uses to attempt to automatically resolve connection timeout errors. In other words, if you have a connection that you know may not be 100% reliable, a card's retry feature will automatically make up to three attempts before failing. If a flow halts before completing due to a temporary connection failure, even after automatic retries, you'll be able to go back and resume the flow later without losing the original data once the service becomes available again. To do this, click the replay button that appears in the flow history pane alongside the error. You can also replay individual cards one at a time in flow history by clicking the play button on the bottom of the card while viewing a past execution. By default, the card will run using the same values from its initial run, but you can change values if you want to correct a one-time problem. It's worth noting that if the flow failure was due to an incorrect flow setup and you update the flow, the error will not be resolved by replay. The replay will run through the original flow setup. If you've experienced a set error, you may want to employ an error handling function. A function card such as return error can set up your flow to catch this kind of error. We'll discuss this more in our advanced lessons.